Today we're at the Kerwinsville Lake. This lake, the West, the West Branch Susquehanna runs through the middle of this lake. This lake was built for flood control. It was completed in 1963. Uh, today we got some weather ahead of us. We're gonna be doing the Bee Kind Trail and we also might get onto the river trail. And uh, we'll be looking at somewhere between four and seven miles today. about halfway through on the river trail and we come across this trail here known as the coal mine trail this one's blazed in orange the river trail is blazed in yellow we're not going to take this trail it's a little bit slick for today you can see some of the snow on the ground but in the back you can see the lake and the west branch susquehanna river flows through this lake and that is deep it's a point it's about 35 feet deep at this lake and this lake was built in 1963 to help prevent floods downstream from here in the Clearfield area and on down the West Branch. Today we started, it was about 33 degrees outside. The snow has lightened up a bit. The trail conditions are quite slick. As you can see, there's snow covered trail and then there's a lot of wet leaves underneath. We couldn't take one of the trails down to the river. It was a little too steep for today. And uh, we'll be heading uphill here in a few minutes. So we're at the top of the mountain here. We didn't plan on coming up on this trail, but I think we wandered onto the V Kind Trail. But it was definitely worth it. As you can see, it's much more snow up here as there was down along the river. We're a few hundred feet in elevation compared to the lake. And it's a big difference.
The trail was blazed in blue the whole time. We started on the Eagle's Nest Trail. But I believe we're going to be on the Bee Kind Trail now. But it's all blazed in blue. And I didn't see any other trails. Maybe we made a wrong turn down at the bottom. We were a little bit unprepared for the snow today. I just have my normal hike and sneakers. And Missy forgot her boots at the room we stayed at last night. So she's up here with even worse sneakers than I have. And we don't have any chains or any spikes with us. And we just peaked the top and now the hard part comes going down the snow covered trail. Wish Missy luck. So Missy found the Bee Kind Trail, so it looks like we were at least close to the Bee Kind Trail. It's white, and it's going to be hard to see. Okay, so maybe we weren't on the Bee Kind we Trail yet. We were still on the Eagle Nest, I think. So the Bee Kind Trail on the map, it looks like it's flat, but it kind of snakes around the mountain edge. And, uh... Actually, it looks like that might be the only way we can go. So we're going to have a look at the GPS and make our way back to the vehicle. It's open. Walking you can see the lake over way. there to the left. Yeah, just a little bit. So we're near where we're, oh, Okay, here's some blue blaze down this way. This the eagle's Oh, down nest. that one? Yeah, that don't the trail look like it's that way, but that's the way we're going to have to go unless we want to turn around and do the whole six miles in reverse. We made it to the end of the Eagle's Nest Trail. It wasn't as bad as the way up, just one little steep part we had to come down and and actually the, the trailhead was only about a quarter mile down the hill. Here's where we started the river trail. The river trail goes to the right here. And the lake is just down there in the valley. And a lot of the surrounding hills have a lot of snow. And it's quite a bit of difference just going up a few hundred feet in elevation. Here's the sign for the river trail. And then here's the trailhead for the Eagle's Nest Trail. Which will connect you to the Bee Kind Trail at the top of the mountain. And then connects to the other end of the river trail. Towards the Kerwinsville Lake Dam. Not a very long hike at all today. I think it was probably going to be about three and a half, four miles maybe. And uh, the, the snow definitely put a, a longer time on the trail than normal. We weren't prepared for an inch to two inches of snow for this. And then just a couple hundred feet down here is the road. I think this is called River Road, and uh, right next to the park office over there is where we parked. And they have a couple maps of all the trails here. I would recommend wearing some spikes or some chains in the winter. Some of these trails are pretty steep, and the ones that are flat are angled towards the river, so Really, there is no flat trail. And uh, if you do come here in the winter and there's snow, you might have a little trouble finding and following the Bee Kind Trail. That one is blazed in white. And as you can see, there's a lot of pasty snow on the trees right now, so we decided not to go on the Bee Kind Trail 
and the trail was covered up there too so it would be pretty hard to follow. I didn't have it downloaded on my GPS but Missy just has her sneakers on too so her feet are getting cold so we're gonna head back to the car and see where we can go from there. We might do another small trail here or we might just look for some pull-offs with the car and we may head over to Clearfield Creek after this. It's a 2015 Eagle Scout project by Isaac Mulholland, Troop 20, Bigler. And I believe this is River Road or Lake Road. And there's the park office where we started. The snow has all but stopped since we got here.